Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. August 15, 2020, the Illegal Officials Edition. First up, more trouble for Boeing as the U.S. probes former NASA officials' contacts with Boeing executives on lunar contracts. A criminal investigation, or federal prosecutors have opened a criminal probe into whether a senior NASA official improperly shared information about a lunar lander project with high-ranking Boeing executives, which then acted on the guidance according to people familiar. The grand jury investigation, which has not been previously reported, is being led out of the U.S. Attorney's Office from the District of Columbia and focused on communications that occurred earlier this year out of outside established contracting channels. Prosecutors are looking into contacts between Dove Lavoro before he resigned as head of NASA's Human Exploitation Program and Jim Chilton, SVP at Boeing's Space and Launch Division. So one might think that Boeing would uh, know better than this, but um, maybe not. Uh, Next up, I think by now everyone's heard of the disaster in Lebanon with the explosion in Beirut where a 2,700-ton stockpile of ammonium nitrate blew up and caused a deadly blast, which killed uh, at least 170 people and devastated the capital. The question has been on the minds of many uh, Lebanon citizens, was this corruption which caused this or simple negligence? Uh, Apparently... This uh, stockpile was created when a ship was seized for uh, tonnage duties in the port of Beirut, and uh, it was left there. When did this happen? 2013, or excuse me, 2014. So um, ammonium nitrate uh, is manufactured as a small white ball known as a prill and stored in bulk for a long period of time. When it does so, however, it absorbs moisture and gradually crystallizes and expands, becoming like a large rock. This makes it a loaded bomb without a detonator, and when you have an initial fire or flare, uh, like the fire at the port, you have bags damaged when they are offloaded, and the chances are that the ammonium nitrate crystallized and expanded so that it was a continuous solid mass. So, unfortunately... It doesn't matter whether it was negligence or corruption. Uh, the results were equally devastating. And now we have two troubling stories out of the Trump administration. First is that the top two Department of Homeland officials are serving unlawfully in their roles, according to the Government Accountability Office. Of course, this begs the question of, has everything they have done now also been illegal? Uh, the Trump administration refuses to report or appoint people to go through congressional oversight And so now we have uh, the Trump administration acting illegally. And also in the illegal action, we have the Secretary of Labor, uh, who is the subject of a complaint by a Labor Department lawyer who said the secretary abused his authority by intervening in a pay discrimination case against Oracle, a tech giant with close White House connections. Once again, the Trump administration having literally the top official in the Department of Labor intervene in an individual case. Clearly a conflict of interest, uh, clearly should not have been done. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.